this is a supposed Barnes potentiometer that I bought for my soldering station a few years ago on eBay and uh, to be frank it never really worked properly and it uh, made the station change temperature on its own as you can see by the extreme sensitivity of it so I frankly don't believe that it's, this is a proper Barnes for one second so I figured since I replaced it today we'd just uh, take it apart and have a look inside before I throw it away Hmm, well this actually looks pretty fancy for being a cheap copy. I'd almost be inclined to believe that it's a real one if not for the fact that uh, it worked so incredibly poorly from the start. But it's clearly not just a generic Chinese potentiometer and that's really a fancy solution. They've got going on there with the rotating trace rather than the rotating contact. In fact, it's really clever since they can just do away with one of the uh, normal slip contacts. So, in light of this uh, construction, I'm actually kind of inclined to believe that this might be a real Barnes. Although, since it was from China and it was cheap, it's probably, I'd say, a rejected part which uh, did not pass Barnes's proper quality control procedures. It's really quite odd though how it seems to be covered in this goop somehow. I can't imagine this being good for the electrical contact, perhaps that's what been, what's been causing the issue. Excessive grease? I have noted that there's a grease leaking out the shaft of it. Yeah, this just looks way too high a quality to be a Chinese copy. Definitely a factory reject, and does it? And I must say, oh, they really have made this thing properly durable because I cannot make that go all the way around by hand. And the shaft assembly seems to pop off with just a locking washer situated there. Okay, out of the way, pop. And that's the shaft popping out right there. A lot more goop. Yeah, I think the goop is supposed to be on this side, but it's just uh, leaked across to the wrong side. Hmm. Quite weird distribution, too. You'd think they'd just aim for the hole there to lube the shaft up. Ah, that's why the uh, you cannot turn it around easily. That's the mechanism for preventing it from going around. It's just a tab on the ceramic disc. This is probably a Cermet potentiometer, which just goes against that large piece of plastic there. So in order to make this thing turn around entirely, you'd have to break the shaft loose from the actual disc, and that's probably sealed in there quite tight. I, I really like that approach. Certainly a lot better than the little flimsy metal stuff you get on the Chinese potentiometers. So there you go, a teardown of a probably real Bowen's potentiometer which uh, has been sent to China when it didn't pass its inspection. Probably. I don't know, this thing never worked right so it was doomed to go to the trash anyway. But at least we've got to get a look inside it first. Thank you for watching, cheerio.